Hello and welcome back to RamboCraft, where in this episode we are starting here at the shopping district. Something that I haven't done in a while. Um, just, wow. <laughs> I don't know who did this. But this is looking amazing. Like this, this looks absolutely epic. The, the whole shopping district should look like this. And not like that. But anyways, welcome back to another episode. We're here in the shopping district to check out a few new shops and things that have popped up and also to check up on our own shops. Uh, firstly, um, still sold out, unfortunately. Hopefully, maybe at the end of this episode, you know what? <laughs> maybe, we'll see. Depends. Anyways, in the last episode, we made this shop right here, and I wonder if we have any sales. Let's take a let's take a look. Ooh, someone has actually bought an end a netherite ingot. That's pretty cool. So we have had one sale so far in here, and that's pretty good. That's two blocks of diamonds right there. That's not bad at all. And as you can see, I have 18 diamonds in here. And I have those just because, well, I would have spent some today if I can. Um, actually, this shop is owned by Hudlin. And I do believe... Yeah, I want some of those. One diamond per stack. You know what? Sea lanterns are really, really good. I think I'm actually going to <laughs> take a few here because I'm hoping to use these in my own build. Yeah, I think three stacks will do for now. That's actually pretty good. I'm going to use these in my build maybe later today. We'll have to see. Now. The slime time. Let's see, have we made any more sales here? No, we have not. All right, that's fine. It still has had success. Now, our fish and goodies, the very first shop we made, um, it's not doing good at all. It's just not good, doing good. I'm not sure what to do with it, if I should rebrand it and use it for something else sell something else in there, or if I should tear down the building and build something different. I could also try and sell the build, like sell the shop, remove the fish and stuff like that, and then sell the building. I don't know. I actually don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Should I sell the building? Should I repurpose the building? Or should I completely take down the building and build something else? Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Um, I still don't think this is owned by Kieran Dev. I still don't think anything is in sale in there. Ooh, but I did want to... Uh, 64 stake for one diamond. That's actually pretty good. But there is other stuff here, such as leather. I have a lot of diamonds. I did some mining off camera as well, and I want to spend some just to gather around some... Uh, some resources here. 24 item frames for one time. That's pretty good as well. You know what? Yep. I'm spending today. These are just some of the things that are really, really nice to have. And I actually did... Uh, oh, here. I chased this um, shop here. I did actually go ahead and buy a bunch of ink sacks uh, from him. But I think... I'm actually going to buy another stack. Just because I do not want to be missing black dye and having to go all the way back here when I need it. So buying it now I think is a good idea. Also actually I see he has three sand in here and I talked to him uh, directly. I asked uh, if anyone was selling sand and he said he had these three stacks and he said I could have them I believe for one diamond each and I said sold. So I'm going to take these actually. Um, so that is a deal I made with him separately. It's not directly there but I said I would buy them and also I do not want to go out and dig for sand so that's pretty good as well all right so I have in total so far spent uh, 16 diamonds you know what it's pretty good now here we have end of us redstone store coming soon I'm going to okay first off amazing build 
pretty amazing build. <laughs> I love the redstone torch. This is amazing. Yep. This is lovely. And also, I'm very excited for this to be open because I am definitely going to be spending some diamonds in here. Because redstone. And I need parts. Now I am also running a bit low on iron. Four diamonds for one stack. Hmm. <laughs> one diamond for two stacks. Let me think. I think I am going to do that actually. I'm gonna take two stacks of blocks of iron. Because I know I'm mining myself, but just having stuff is gonna be pretty nice. So there we go. We have spent how much have we spent now? Eh so far we have spent what was it? I think twenty-four? Yeah, we've spent 24 diamonds so far here. That is not bad at all. Now, um, let me think. There was something else. Oh yeah, over here. Hudlin has made a thing. Uh, right here. So this latest episode, and I think it's some sort of. Let's see. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Welcome to Paco's Pirate. Booty. Pick a treasure and deposit one diamond block in the barrel. Take the first clue. The clue is your first step to finding a secret pirate treasure. Treasure 1, treasure 2, treasure 3. All treasures are on the shopping district island. Okay, wait, hold on. Okay, we are definitely going to get that. I, I, I get it now, perfectly. I just want to go back home, empty my inventory, sleep, get a bed with me so I can sleep while being here, and then uh, we will, uh, I guess, go treasure hunting. That's gonna be cool. Now, don't worry, we will be doing other stuff in this episode as well. We will be building. Uh, well, I'm not gonna spoil everything. We're gonna we're gonna be building a bunch of stuff as well. So don't worry. But first, let's knock things off with a good old treasure hunt. Excuse me. Rude. All right, we are back at the shipwreck here. I must say, first off, this is pretty cool. Like how the ship is wrecked inside the ice pack. I like it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. All right, so let's head up here. So, welcome to the uh, to the, the pirate booty. Deposit one. I'm probably butchering that. I'm sorry. Deposit one diamond block in barrel. Take the first clue. The clue is your first step to finding the secret pirate treasures. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna have to go with treasure too. All right, here we are. Treasure hunt. Oh yeah, I gotta pay. I got a hotline hit. <laughs> it's pretty scary, honestly. You know what? I'm, I'm just gonna yeah, yeah. Let's get back to normal. All right, let's see what this clue says. Behind a sign that sparkles and glows, the lights flow. If you lose at this game, you find displeasure. But that's where you will find your treasure. I think I get this one. So, behind a sign that sparkles and glows. Okay, Spa a sign that sparkles and glows. The only sign I can think of is that. If you lose at this game, you find displeasure, but that's where you will find your treasure. Meaning, in here, right, in a casino, if you lose at this game, you find displeasure, because you, you've used a lot of money and you still lose, but that's where you will find your treasure. I mean, I th eh. Is there anything on the outside? I mean, I could be wrong. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know if I can like break. I d I don't. I don't want to mess up with any like redstone stuff that's back there. <laughs> um. Hold on. Okay. Behind a sign. That sparkles and glows. I mean, I would is assume that this sparkles and glows. 
I don't think there are any other signs in the shopping district. Unless... No, wait, because it's behind a sign that sparkles and glows. Behind a sign that sparkles and glows. A redstone torch is sparkling and glows, but that isn't really a sign, is it? We're gonna have to equip the elytra here for this one. Um, yep, nothing. <laughs> huh. Hmm. I mean, I would assume that it's in the open. They sparkle and glow. Is there a sign with... Sea lanterns? Behind a sign. Oh, it has to be the casino. Am I just blind? I... Behind a sign that sparkles and glows. The lights flow. They flow, it's sparkly, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. If it loses this game, you find this pleasure, but that's where you will find your treasure. It has to be in here. It has to be. Hotlin, you have really outdone yourself here. Okay, I have decided to hold it here. Put a pin in this right here. I'm going to take my ender chest. And I'm going to place a clue in here, right there. And I have asked Hotlin just to make sure that I understand everything correctly. Well, I've asked that I assume that I don't have to break anything in order to get to it. Um, so yeah, that, put a pin in it. We will continue it. Uh, later in this episode. I'm sure it is in here somewhere. I It, 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 it just has to be. Like, it, it has to be. But if it is, then it's really well hidden. Alright, hopefully we will be able to continue that treasure hunt later in this episode, but right now we have two other things we need to do. Firstly, in the last episode we made this concrete machine right here, which I have actually used uh, off camera and it has been amazing. I actually don't know if I have uh, taken... Oh dear. Oh yeah, there was a wandering trader here. Apparently um, things didn't go too well for them. But anyways, oh, more leads. I'll take them. Uh, did I? No, I did not empty the last one right here. Um, and I think the first thing that we will be doing building-wise is going to be um, building the structure for this thing, just so it looks a little bit cooler. I'm going to be using this a ton, so having this in a building, uh, it's going to look a lot better. So I think that is going to be the first thing that we do. I just want to show you how much concrete I have actually made. Hold on, let me just get indoors here. All right, this is all the white concrete. I've made a bunch of gray as well and a bunch of cyan because after we have made that build right there, we are going to be going ahead and starting for the first section, or starting the first section of the tower, right here. And, oh dear, I missed the spot. But we will be starting the tower today. Um, if you don't know, these redstone blocks, just they're just indicating me where the door is going to be to this place. Um, and I might make changes, I'm not entirely sure about this bit after this block right here because I have some thoughts, but um, I think we're just gonna go with it and uh, we can always make changes later. But that is enough talking and rambling for, well, I guess rambling really makes sense because this is ramble craft <laughs> anyways. You get the point. Let's start building this thing and uh, yeah, let's start building this thing and uh, see how it looks when we're done.
And there it is, built and completed. I quite like how this looked. And what I didn't like about this, it, it, it took up a lot more concrete than I had anticipated. <laughs> but it's fine. I really, really like how this ended up. I installed this ladder here so that I can get all the way up here and not having to do all sorts of pillaring and whatnot. I can get right up here and start placing in the concrete and I can get on top of the roof here and access the input chest and help us right here. So that is that completed. Now, as I said, phew, that was close. Now, as I said, it did use up quite a lot of concrete, but I did go ahead and make even more so we have enough for the next project. Next on the to-do list though, I was about to say sleep, but you know what? I, I, I want a good looking bed. Uh, this is gonna look so much better. Perfect. No, the next project is also build related. Um, Let's just move this stuff out of the way and get myself some a shocker box here because I need to load up all of this concrete because we are going to be building the very first section of the big base. I don't know what really to call it. I mean, it is going to be a tower, but also a base. I don't know. I'm just gonna go with this. Uh, put all this in here, and am I missing anything? Oh yeah, I need a bunch of glass as well. I think this is everything. I think that is everything. Cool. So let's grab these. Grab the ender chest just in case. And let's head on out to the construction site. Now my main idea here is to have a, as I already said, a huge tower. But let me just emphasize a little bit more what my grand plan is. <laughs> That isn't really that grand. <laughs> basically, these redstone blocks right here indicate uh, doors, so basically openings. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to have all four of these. I'm kind of debating whether or not to change this bit right here, because my original plan here is to have this huge like building in the middle here, and then having all the farms basically connecting using pipes to this big structure, letting all the items flow in, through the pipes into a automatic sorting system and then into a huge storage area all within this huge base. Um, and I'm kind of thinking maybe making a little bit of a different, I could just make it, make the tower and build it into it, but I feel like making the path back here a little bit different to where the items will come in just so it isn't the same, but I'm not sure about that, but uh, we can always make changes. So this is, okay, I gotta fix that corner, hold on. Much better, okay, <laughs> now it's symmetrical. Um, this is going to be a huge project and we will only be doing the first segment today. But as soon as we have the first segment, we can also start planning the rest of the space because we will also want to go down and yeah, there's a lot to do. So I think without further ado, I think I just just get started. Actually, hold on, let me just grab some end rods. I think those might be useful. I don't know if I'm gonna use them, but they're gonna be nice to have with me. Yoink. Perfect. Yep, I think I'm gonna get started. Um, yeah, let, let's get right to it. And hopefully I am able to get in contact with Hotline <laughs> so we can finish this treasure hunt. But yes, enough rambling about. Let's uh, messing about that I can't speak. Let's get right to it in your time lapse.
All right, we are done. Well, for now anyway, it is nowhere near done. <laughs> but here it is loading in just like that. That actually took less resources than that. I guess it kind of makes sense. I don't know. But anyways, here is the first section right here. Now, obviously on the inside, it is looking kind of meh. In fact, very meh. But uh, I'm gonna get to the inside later on. For now, it is just the outside. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And if you are wondering why are there glass there and why did I place glass behind those, that is because I'm planning, um, well, I might as well say it. <laughs> it is basically going to house a beacon all the way down at the bedrock and it's going to have four of them. So it's going to have four beacon beacons going up here in these four corners. Now these doorways are obviously, well, doorways and it is going to house a door of some sort. I am hoping to be able to make it into a flying machine door, but uh, we'll have to see. I need to do some testing and stuff like that. But yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with this. And of course it is going to go bigger, but that is what uh, we have done in this episode. And I'm quite happy that I have finally begun on this thing. I'm very happy. We just need to get some flooring in, get the first floor above us in, and yeah, we can start moving in here. But there is something else that has happened. Uh, I need... Actually, I'm gonna get a brand new shulker box for this. You see, Andavar announced in our Discord that he has opened a new shop. Do I have any food? Nope. And it's a good thing I'm heading there because that's where my food is. <laughs> but yes, he has opened a new shop, the Redstone shop to be specific. And I want in. Now, first things first, let me just go in and grab some food from my own store. And I'm actually going to let you guys decide what happens here, or have an influence anyway, in what happens with this shop. Because obviously I've not made uh, any sales recently, so you can choose between three options. I will leave a link to a poll down below in the description. Go vote. Should I rebrand it and sell something else instead of fish? Should I demolish the building and build something else? Or should I try and sell the building? Let me know your thoughts uh, by voting down below in the poll. Um, but while we're here, actually there's something else that I wanna do here as well. But first, end of us redstone store. <gasps> I love it, I love it. Okay, so, ooh, ooh, oh dear me. Okay, um, <laughs> this is like getting in a candy store here. Wow. Okay, um, empty shulker box, let's see, 32, f okay, you know what, I'm gonna do some shopping and I'll, s I'll uh, show you <laughs> what I have bought. All right, um, I've used a lot of diamonds. <laughs> I have used 9, 18, 27, I have not used 27, I had 27 with me and I've used 21 and this is what I bought right here. Um, I'm definitely going to be using a lot of diamonds here because going and buying the components are just a whole lot easier when you just want to do a project. So yeah, that end of our great job. Um, you've got yourself a customer. <laughs> now, um, I noticed something else while I was in the shopping district earlier. And no, I haven't had a response from Hutlin yet. So we might have to complete this in the next episode. I might be totally wrong. It might not be this sign here, but um, yeah, that's that's the only thing I can think of. Okay, so it turns out what I thought I saw, it isn't actually there, but I found the other thing. That's just a little bit weird, isn't it? A random hatch. I saw it when we when I <laughs> went through here as well. So I thought, wait, is that two? But no, I only saw this one. Um. Huh? Do it.
I might just have trapped myself, by the way. What? On... Um, Earth? Eh? Huh? Okay, there's a book here. Let's read Welcome to the Bunker Club, where life is better underground. Join today to become a member of the most exclusive society on the Ramblecraft server. Membership is free. Sign up is at the opposite end of the BC to the bar. Becoming a Bunker Club member grants access to a Myriad, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know that word, of activities that offer unique rewards upon participation. We hope to see your name on the members list soon. Be sure to visit the Bunk Club from time to time for updates. This sounds pretty dope. Oh, look at that. Okay, so I knew Hocus is behind it. I know Hocus is behind this because I saw his latest video and... I s he started doing something mysterious and then I st stopped watching because he, he mentioned um, us other ramblers uh, that it would be a surprise for us so I stopped watching but I have no I, I don't know anything from like I don't know any of this okay that also look at that that's pretty cool I mean this sounds pretty cool to me and I'm not gonna pass this up I don't think Sign up, rename paper to your name, and drop it in the chest on the wall to your right. Sign up today for free PC merch. What? <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm doing it. We're signing up. We're signing up to the... Wait, what? What was it called again? Uh, Bunker Club. Right. Bunker Club. Okay. Um, there we go. Bunker Club banner. Ooh. Okay, you know what? I'm I'm gonna have to make a shield, put that on, and give the shield mending because this banner actually looks sick. Like it looks amazing. Wow, Hocus, this is amazing. Now, mm -hmm. <laughs> how do I get out of here? <laughs> I trapped myself. Um, huh? There we go. It it it's back to normal. Um, I guess I'm in a club now. I guess. That's cool. Well, guys, I think with that, I'm going to end this episode right here. We did a lot of stuff. We started to build on the base. We built that thing around the concrete maker. We uh, took diamonds from our shops. <laughs> we're going to, in the next episode, decide what we're doing with this job because... I don't want it just hanging around. I want to either do something with it or sell it or turn it into something else. Um, yeah, we checked out shops and we went on a treasure hunt that hopefully we will be able to continue in the next episode. Because I am really, really pumped about this. Um, and I keep walking in here because I'm sure it's in here. Like it has to be. Now, just before the outro rolls for this Ramblecraft episode, I just want to promote my Patreon page, link down below in the description. And just say, if you enjoy my content, please consider supporting me on Patreon, even if it's one dollar. It has, it helps me out more than you realize. Also, when we reach twenty-five dollars a month, I will be opening a vanilla server for you guys to, to be able to join. Yes, everyone will be able to join it. Um, so, if you wish to support me through Patreon, link down below in the description. Also, I am going to. Um, add more what's it called i will be adding more benefits some stuff will be coming soon as well and yeah i just wanted to promote it because i, I rarely do so a lot of people might not know that i have it but it's there link down below in the description but anyways with that said i hope you enjoyed this episode and i hope to see you in the next one have a wonderful day and goodbye